Well, folks, welcome to another episode. We have been really enjoying ourselves on one of our regular backpacking trips we try and do every year. And on this backpacking trip, I wanted to take a really good woods folder. And what had just hit the market was the new for 2015 Cold Steel Fin Wolf. And this is designed kind of in the philosophy or theory of a puko, which is, you know, a Scandi ground, uh, you know, kind of Scandinavian knife that uh, is really, really good for woods processing. So uh, this is the knife that I opted to pick up and take with us. We've had a lot of use with this knife now, not only in this backpacking trip, but also around the house doing EDC tasks and just doing a lot of different food prep. And again, woods, you know, woods tasks, putting this knife through it. So today in this video, you're going to see the fin wool really put through the paces on this backpacking trip as well as around the house and we're going to see how well this new for 2015 design really performs. So with that being said let's go ahead and start looking at the Finn Wolf and see how it performs. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at the handle on the Finn Wolf and kind of walk you through it here. Now, the handle length total is going to be 4.75 inches, so good beefy size there to get into your hand, even if you have large or extra large size gloves. It's made out of Grivex, so it's a form of polymer plastic uh, that they've done and they've hollowed out, and so there are no liners, it's just the Grivex, and I really like that a lot because that means that it weighs in at 3.4 ounces. So for a three and a half inch blade at 3.4 ounces, that's fantastic. I really like that a lot. It's going to be uh, 0.4 eight on the thickness so nice and slim as well in your pocket not going to take up a lot of real estate you got that nice lanyard hole back there and then uh, got a little bit of traction here that kind of feels like skin kind of looks like a little bit of uh, I, I can't really describe it sandpaper maybe so it does give you I'd say medium traction it's not going to be as grippy as uh, cold steel's g10 but it does give you good traction and it just feels really comfortable in my hands I wear large size gloves so you can see there got that kind of hook out the back and that does not get in the way even when I do a reverse grip you can see there it fits real nice and comfortable in my hand for all sorts of different bushcraft grips so guys I really dig this handle I really like it a lot uh, and I'm going to give it a very solid five out of five for the ergonomic rating on this fin wolf all right, let's go ahead and talk about the value here on the blade. What are these going for? $35. You heard me right, 35 bucks for this blade all over the place, Blade HQ, Amazon, eBay. And for what you're getting, and particularly if you are in the market for that kind of bushcraft slash outdoor hiking folder, I think that is a phenomenal price point. Uh, they've done a great job with the overall design. I love that true Scandi and that good OS 8 performs well, very lightweight in your hand, feels very ergonomic. I mean, just all the things that this knife has to offer. $35 is a screaming deal, guys. I'm giving it a five out of five on the value rating for this Finn Wolf. Pick it up. If you've been thinking about it, you won't regret it. For that price point, you can't go wrong. All right, let's talk about the blade here and how is this blade performing? Because here's the deal, guys, that I love about this blade is that it's a three and a half inch blade, OS 8A steel. Uh, that's kind of been Cold Steel's bread and butter steel for a long time. They've done well with it. It's a, you know, it's a budget steel, but it's a good budget steel. Uh, it's a semi-stainless, you know, so you're, you know, you're, it's going to take a little bit while for it to uh, rust on you and it holds a decent edge. Now with this in that kind of Puko design has that really aggressive sweep up. So you can get a massive amount of belly. Uh, this is an eighth of an inch thick has a 90 degree spine so it will throw sparks if you want to use this on your fire steel it'll absolutely launch those sparks for you and then it's got that satin finish now this is the best part about it is that most folders come with different grinds than what this has this has a true scandy zero degree bevel there is no secondary bevel along this edge whatsoever and uh i mean it's just a true scandy just like your moras and just like any other you know true scandy blade any true puko is going to have that uh, style of blade. And so what I've found with the performance on this knife is that uh, when you're doing any sort of either rope cutting 
uh, man-made material cutting or uh, wood cutting, this is phenomenal. This is gonna do a fantastic job. You're able to get really fast cuts through like nylon rope, those type of materials. I mean, just like butter, boom. It's gonna go right through that cardboard, those type of things, boom. It's just gonna fly right through it. And then all sorts of wood processing, guys, is gonna do a phenomenal job going through all kinds of different woods processing uh, for this knife. This is the thing though, because it's a Scandi grind, food prep, and particularly when you need a nice clean cut, I'm talking vegetables, fruit, those type of things, this is not cut well. So that's something to consider because of how the grind is designed, it's gonna start deep and end narrow. It's just the way it is. So you're not gonna get very good clean cuts that are nice, you know, uh, uniform. That's just not gonna happen. A full flat grind would do a lot better with that. That's why kitchenware for the most part has full flat grinds on it. And with this Scandi, I mean, it bites in so deep into wood. So you kind of have to learn how to, if you are not familiar with Scandi grinds and haven't really used them a lot, you really kind of, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Once you get the hang of it, you can tilt it out and get really fine shavings. And then you can dig deep and get really deep cuts depending on what you want to do. And it, I mean, it is really a, a great woods processor for sure. Now, some other things to note real quick is that uh, I've been using this hard for several weeks, doing tons and tons of wood prep, as well as all the other stuff you're seeing throughout this video and I've yet to have to touch up this blade so the uh, the blade is holding up well and the edge is holding up well not no chips rolls anything like that something else is you can see these thumb studs right here are in line with that Scandi grind uh, they go about a quarter inch out from the handle so you have to uh, unscrew one of them and move them to get a true edge back on your entire blade that is something to note because they can get in the way when you're doing sharpening uh, if you're not careful so that is something that's a little bit of a nuisance to me uh, you know you have to kind of unscrew it and move it out of the way so just something to consider when you are purchasing this not a huge deal but again um, this is holding a great edge and i put it through a lot and have yet to touch it up and as long as you use you know either a leather strop or ceramic rod you should be fine it's only when you get like chips and dings in this that you would then probably have to deal with that uh, thumb stud and moving it out uh, to get that really you know perfect edge back on there so uh, guys overall a great performer for that scandy grind folder phenomenal particularly out in the woods scandy grind just goes right through that rope that's awesome <laughs> that solid lock up. Triad. All right, let's take a look here at the deployment and lockup for this knife. Now, uh, the thumb studs are really nice and set apart. They're equal on either side, and you can have uh, a flat head and actually move one out or uh, further than the other if you so desire, if that's going to be your go-to size uh, and side that you're going to be using. And then it has a nice little thumb divot in there, so you can easily engage. It's very easy for you to engage and deploy this knife very, very fast. I can do it one-handed without even flicking my wrist. Now, out of the box, there was something to note with the triad locking system. The triad locking system is a very strong system. I really like it a lot. They got that lock bar back there, and then you know they have three points of resistance to help keep the um, blade from swinging back down. But I've had this happen on one other cold steel. When I would deploy it right out of the box, it would lock, and I could not squeeze that down. I mean, I had to literally slam it on my... Uh, kitchen counter a couple times to pop it out and I really had to work on it for about three or four days before it loosened up. Now it's smooth as butter. I have no problems but that's just something to note and I've ha experienced that before on some other cold steel so just know that if you get a really stiff triad lock just work on it. I didn't even put any lube on it. I just open and close, open and close, open and close a ton to get it to where it is now where I can easily disengage it. I can even do it one-handed and kick it down and that's something else I want to note that because the blade is so close to the handle uh, it would be pretty easy for you to accidentally uh, if you're using a one-handed kick down and nick your finger just slightly so you really need to use two hands when uh, closing this up that is one thing to note that I would have liked to see just a little bit further uh, 
um, blank spot right there. So then I could just put my finger right there, kick it down one handed. As it stands right now, you can see there it's just really close. Could easily nick my finger. So I, I opt to just you know close it two handed each time. But uh, great deployment, great centering as well. You can see there perfect centering and a great super strong lockup with the triad locking system. All right, how about quality? Well, the Aus 8 steel is holding a good edge, no complaints there. The overall handle design, ergonomics, uh, I haven't had any sort of breakage, any sort of loosening of anything or any of the parts, uh, you know, no hot spots to speak of or any other problems like that. Really the only problem we ran into again was with that triad lock uh, and it really jamming up for the first about 24 hours until I broke it in. So I am gonna ding it one point because of that. It should come, you know, where I don't have to slam it up against the, um, uh, what's called counter to loosen that up and kind of start to work it in uh, and I had to do that about 10 times before it kind of broke itself in so I'm going to ding at one point at four out of five on the quality rating but as the the knife stands now having broken it in it's fantastic no issues whatsoever. All right folks I want to show you the pocket clip and we'll talk about the carry option rating here for the Finn Wolf. So you can see here it's a nice stainless steel very strong durable it's not going to flex out on you it doesn't kick out and flare out either which I really like so it's nice and slim not going to snag on anything that's real nice. So you got the lanyard hole above it. Now the thing to note, and I can't tell uh, if, or I can't, I don't know if you guys can see on film, this protrudes quite far on my pocket. Uh, this sticks out a lot. Now there's a pro and a con to that. Positive is if you're wearing this, you know, in the wilderness, you got gloves on or it's winter time, you got winter gloves on because it sticks out so far, I can easily grab it, pull it out and deploy it. Uh, for EDC around town carry, I don't like it. It's very high, sticks out and protrudes quite far and people are gonna really see that sticking out and just kinda, you know, you can bump it with your hand while you're trying to go into your pocket. I just don't really like it. So uh, that's something to note. When you pull it out, it is ambidextrous, tip up only. So you can just rotate it left or right. I really like that a lot. And you can obviously deploy your blade, use it, put it back into place and you're good to go. And I've hiked uh, about 10 miles with this in my pocket in the last 24 hours and it has not slid out or wanted to fall out at all. So this is a great wilderness folder. So guys, I would say for the carry options, if you're out in the woods and this is gonna, gonna kind of be a, a wilderness pocket knife, hiking po pocket knife, I would say a four out of five on the carry options. As it stands for EDC, I would say a three out of five uh, because of how far it protrudes. So uh, overall, those are the, my, my ratings for this pocket clip on the Finn Wolf. Well, folks, you have seen this sucker in action, really put through its paces. And I gotta tell you, I have really enjoyed using this. And for probably about a year now, uh, the mini recon from Cold Steel has been my hiking backpacking folder. Normally, that's what I would have taken on this trip that you've seen a lot of the footage that we've put this knife through doing. That's usually what would be the knife that you know would go with me. But now that I have this, it gives me the 90 degree spine, it gives me that true scanty grind, and it gives me a much more ergonomic handle to do a lot of different tasks. You know, I could almost you know justify just taking a big wilderness knife or a big hatchet and just using this guy for all of my food prep, all my finer feather stick making and finer tasks that uh, you know a smaller fixed blade could do because of how durable tough and everything that I put this through has been phenomenal so guys uh, my likability five out of five for a wilderness folder and it has replaced now my recon as my regular my mini recon as my regular hiking backpacking blade for you know my pocket this is now going to be my pocket knife when I go do all the excursions that you see week in week out here this is what I'll be rocking in my pocket nine times out of ten unless I'm testing out another blade so um, guys uh, I dig this thing a lot it's definitely staying in the collection and is a great wilderness folder i'd recommend it to anybody so as always check us out on all the relevant social media please subscribe comment like share this video and as always remember to stay equipped stay prepared we'll see you out there